Off the coast of Alaska, U.S. military recovery teams are searching for whatever is left of that unidentified object that an Air Force fighter jet shot down yesterday. Officials say they still don't know what the object was, what its purpose was, or where it came from. The incident came less than a week after another fighter jet shot down the suspected Chinese spy balloon off the coast of South Carolina. In response to the Chinese surveillance, the United States has blacklisted six companies linked to China's aerospace program. ABC News and the Associated Press report that former President Donald Trump's legal team recently turned over more classified materials to federal investigators. Trump's handling of classified materials is the subject of a special counsel investigation. Citing sources, the two news outlets said that among the materials voluntarily surrendered was a laptop belonging to a Trump aide and an empty folder with classified markings. Yesterday, the FBI found another classified document during a consensual search of former Vice President Mike Pence's home in Indiana. And police in North Carolina have released body and dashboard camera footage showing the violent arrest of a black man. Daryl Tyree Williams died shortly after police officers repeatedly used stun guns on him. The 32-year-old Williams cried out during his arrest on January 17th that he had a heart problem. The police stunned him three times while trying to take him into custody. Several officers are on leave while the incident is investigated. Police say they were arresting him for possession of a controlled substance. Still to come on PBS News Weekend, the significance that both starting quarterbacks in tomorrow's Super Bowl game are black and the story of an enslaved man who stole a Confederate ship and sailed to freedom. This is PBS News Weekend from WETA Studios in Washington, home of the PBS NewsHour, weeknights on PBS.